Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Sejanus, his fall, and we get to hear from Terentius today in Act 5, Scene 1. Now, Act 5, Scene 1 started off, it's, it's been a bit of a roller coaster of a scene already. We started off with Sejanus thinking that he is just about ready to become a god. He was talking about how awesome everything is going for him and maybe he should set his sights a little higher than just becoming Caesar because at this point uh, that feels like a rather low bar to set for him to become emperor because he feels like he's the most powerful person in the world. But then uh, Terentius comes in and is like, there's black smoke spewing from the statue of you that is in Pompey's theater. And he's like, well, go figure out what it's about. Somebody obviously must have set it on fire. So Terentius leaves, but then comes back with Satrius and Nada, who say that they were also at the statue and they saw somebody already took the head off of it to see what was inside. And this monstrous snake came out of the neck of the statue. And they're like, you know, we think that this is potentially a bad sign. And yesterday, Sejanus was like, yeah, if that's a bad sign, then the fact that my bed fell apart is a bad sign. And the fact that a cat walked between my legs is a bad sign. He's like, you're being, you're being kind of ridiculous about this. But Terentius says, I think them ominous. And would they had not happened. As today, the fate of some of your servants who declining their way, not able for the throng to follow, slipped down the Geminis and break their necks. Besides, in taking your last augury, no prosperous bird appeared, but croaking ravens flagged up and down and from the sacrifice flew to the prison where they sat all night beating the air with their obstreperous beaks. I dare not counsel, but I could entreat that great Sejanus would attempt the gods once more with sacrifice. So Terentius is sharing that he's maybe a little superstitious here. He's like, I think that those things are bad signs, uh, all of these things that have been happening to you, because also some of your servants just fell and broke their necks because they couldn't get away any better. And the last time you made a sacrifice, the, you know, the sign that appeared after your sacrifice was not a good one. It was a whole bunch of ravens that went and flew to the prison and pecked at the air all night with their beak. So he's like, you know, put all of these things together and it might not hurt for you to make like one more sacrifice to the gods to maybe, you know, see if you can get back in their favor or something. <laughs> and Sejanus, of course, is going to have a response to that tomorrow in a monologue. So just curious, do you think Sejanus is going to take Terentius' advice? We'll find out. I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah.